Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Prince Jules NYC. If you're new here, I'm a 27 year old Cancer Sun, Aries Moon, and Scorpio Rising. Super excited to be doing a Fenty Skin review today. I am such a Rihanna Navy stan. Uh, when she first released the mailing list, I definitely signed up. And the moment, the exact moment it was released in early access, I was on the site, I believe it was like, a really absurd time and it was like 2 a.m. or something like that. I was on the side just refreshing and refreshing my page because I wanted to get it as soon as possible. Um, if you can't tell, I love Rihanna. Rihanna's really iconic to me. I remember where I was when Umbrella came out. I remember singing Disturbia when I was in high school and uh, Russian Roulette and SNM, What's My Name and Only Girl in the World and she, means the world to me. I, um, she just represents black excellence and just this edgy, unapologetic, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, just confidence and energy that I definitely aspire to. Um, and if you can't tell this review <laughs> might be a little bit biased but i'll try to make this review as objective as possible okay before i jump in i have to caveat that i am not a dermatologist i cannot diagnose anything so if you have more serious concerns than um just having oily skin you definitely want to talk to a dermatologist think of me like Anthony from Queer Eye. I can't really, I'm not a, a chef, uh, but I am a big foodie. Um, but in the way that I'm really into skincare, I do a lot of reading about it, and I'm such a fan of fully understanding what goes into skincare and ingredients, um, particularly because I have darker skin and I don't see as much information that's tailored to darker skin. Having said that, let's jump into the products. So I, like I said, ordered early access, all three products. So I have the Total Cleanser, the Fat Water, which is the best name I've ever heard for a skincare product, uh, particularly a toner or essence, um, and the Hydrovisor sunscreen and moisturizer. I'll cut to the chase. Fragrance <laughs> has been a hot topic ever since the line was released. Um, fragrance is a very controversial ingredient. Fragrance doesn't inherently benefit your skin. The purpose of fragrance usually is more for kind of a sensorial experience or actually to mask a different ingredient that smells bad. <laughs> so usually you'll have good sinker ingredients, but they smell really bad. So you, you often will need a separate fragrance to counterbalance that. That really is the reason why a fragrance is technically used in skincare. The American Academy of Dermatology estimates that about 1% of the population has a sensitivity to fragrance. Um, so if you have a sensitivity to fragrance, this line is not for you, period. Um, if you have more sensitive conditions like eczema, um, psoriasis, acne, or rosacea, you definitely want to talk to a dermatologist if you are going to be using skincare with fragrance in it. I don't have any of those sensitivities, so although I've moved away from products with fragrance as much as I can, um, I haven't had issues and I, I've just never, I've used fragrance all my life and I've never had issues. It really is all about formulation and, and is it formulated to be safe on skin? Really the question you, you should be asking is, is the formulation right for me uh, given fragrances in it? Fragrance in and of itself, yes, is a controversial ingredient, but you should kind of look at the entire thing holistically is what I tried to do. Um, so. Let's jump into the products. Um, I plan to use this for the next month and maybe I'll do another video at the end of that, just to kind of catch up and see if I've noticed any changes. I will say the other pieces, there aren't really like intense actives in it. Um, so things like acids or, um, or retinols are not in this line. I wouldn't expect a really dramatic change from this. If that's something you want, I would maybe look into retinols or um, looking into acids with your dermatologist, but this isn't 
really for that. This is kind of a, the line is kind of basic cleanser, toner, moisturizer. That is, it's pretty minimal actually. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the cleanser, total cleanser. This actually is my favorite product of the line. I get really excited to use it and I think I definitely will continue to use it. It's one of my favorite cleansers, period, that I've used. It has glycerin, which is a great humectant, and ginkgo biloba, which is an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant ingredient. Acerola extract or Barbados cherry uh, has a lot of vitamin C in it, which is a great ingredient for brightening. Um, it has green tea, which is a good anti antioxidant. I'm really into green tea in my skincare right now. Uh, so overall, it has some really great ingredients. As I use it, uh, it really foams, and I actually kind of like that. I Like I said, I have oily skin, and I find that I need the foam in order to not feel greasy after I use cleansers. But the flip side of that is it really also does not feel like it's drying. It's overly drying my skin. It, my skin feels like it still has moisture in it. Just, it really does, I think, cut, crew, cut through. <laughs> it really does cut through grease and dirt. I have to say the cleanser smells amazing. It smells so, so good. I really look forward to using it, even just because of the smell. It, it really is. And, and because it's fragrance in a cleanser, it's a wash off, so it's less risk. Next product, Fat Water. From this height, a two-in-one toner serum combo that targets pores, improves the look of dark spots, brightens, smooths, and fights shine, all without stripping skin. This product also has a lot of products that were in the cleanser, ginkgo biloba extract, acerola extract, the Barbados cherry, um, it has glycerin, um, but this one has niacinamide, which is an amazing ingredient. If, you're, if you have dark skin, if you have oily skin, you really should look into niacinamide. Niacinamide helps with brightening the skin and, and really helping with sensitivity and, and restoring and rebuilding your skin barrier, uh, which is a crucial function of the skin is, is to protect what's inside from the outside. Uh, niacinamide is an am amazing ingredient. I've been using it for years now and I feel like it it's in the long term one that most people should look into. It has witch hazel, which is another controversial ingredient. It's an astringent and um, anti-inflammatory, but uh, I've also read studies where it can be over drying. And of course it has fragrance. Um, Overall, I found it to be hydrating, um, also smells good. Uh, I, I don't know that I will keep using this after I run out. What I mainly see toners for is, is time for active, so I love to see at least some acids. Um, so what I use typically is this uh, lotion P50. This is, is more for exfoliating and, and kind of doing a little bit more work. Um, as, as a toner. Um, so this is kind of what I use. If you want to hear more about it, let me know. On to the final product, the Hydrovisor sunscreen and moisturizer. Description from the site. This two-in-one sunscreen and moisturizer is lightweight, oil-free, and truly invisible on all skin tones. It claps back at dehydration, discoloration, dark spots, uh, it's makeup friendly too, so no piling and zero flashback, and it's refillable. So it's actually a really cool uh, packaging. I believe, how does this work? So this unplugs, um, and I believe this is refillable. Although it's not on the site yet, I'm sure it will be at some point, um, which I think is, yeah, cool. <laughs> I like it. I have really no problems with it, um, other than fragrance, obviously, but I, and I've kind of talked about this in my sunscreen video, but I just, I found sunscreens that are from Korea and use a little bit more advanced technology in their ingredients lists. Um, because of the FDA limitations, uh, any sunscreen in the US basically has to have a very limited list of UV filters, um, but 
Of the sunscreens I've used that are US products, this is definitely my favorite. Um, I, don't, I don't think I've used a US-based sunscreen that I've liked this much. It has glycerin, again, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, which is another great humectant, will help to hydrate your skin. It has dimethicone, which is a good occlusive ingredient to help kind of keep the moisture in there. So overall, it has some great ingredients. I've really loved it so far, but is it one that I will continue to use when I have um, this Centella Unscented? Um, I, I don't think so. I'll keep using it just to kind of feel it out over the next few weeks, but uh, I will probably ultimately switch back. So overall, I have to say for a first launch, she did an amazing job. I can tell she put a lot of thought into it with the Barbados cherry and um, and she has said she likes fragrance in her skincare. And also let's talk about the packaging. I didn't even mention that. Like, are you serious? <laughs> amazing packaging. So overall, I'd say if you are thinking about this line, the only product I can in good faith recommend is the cleanser. Um, the other two products, I'm five days into using it. Maybe as of day 30, I'll have a different um, epiphany. But as of right now, I'm on the fence. Again, make sure you hit the like button if you haven't. I'll wait. Okay, I don't have a watch. Um, but go ahead and hit the like button and uh, subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.